charge for being in a synagogue together. Now, the Bill of Rights, as you well know, protects Americans' right and shrines their right to practice their religion as they see fit and to congregate together to assemble peacefully. By what authority did you nullify the Bill of Rights in issuing this order? Come on, Phil. You have the Answer our founding fathers. Oh, above your pay grade. Who's got their hand up your keister, you stupid, stupid man? Listen, these parks better open soon. The state better open soon. Stop your lying. Stop going along with the script. Ah, uh, you're from Massachusetts anyway. What are you doing, Governor of New Jersey? Man, you really pulled one over on us, you jack. Man. Since you are, since you are a, an elected official, a leader in the government, an executive, how do you have the authority yeah. to order something that so clearly contravenes huh. the Bill of Rights of the United States? Come on, Phil. Where do you get the authority to do that? Well, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We need to stay away from each other. We'll stay away from each other. Divide and conquer. Number three, we would never do that. Coordinating, discussing, and, and hashing it out with the leaders, the, the, the variety of the leaders. Which leaders? The mayor of Middletown won't close the parks. And you live in Middletown, you fool. You talk to every rabbi and priest, but, but there's a deeper question here. And I, I, I'm just going to ask you one last time because I think it's important. I'm sure you've thought about this. They're not chasing us through the fields. And you live in this town, you little wuss. Tell people who they can talk to when and where because the Constitution of the United States, upon which all of this is based, prohibits you from doing that. So you clearly decided that you could do it. Did you consult an attorney about this? Did you, I mean, because there's a, this is a legal question as well as a, sure. as a medical one, isn't it? I, I don't go to the men's room without consulting an attorney, so I, I guarantee you. Yeah, we sure you don't. I'll give an example that was not related to the synagogue. Uh, I called up Cardinal Tobin, uh, Cardinal Joe Tobin in Newark. There are five or six archdioceses in New Jersey. It was coming up to Easter and Holy Week in particular. Got to cancel those holy days. Whew. Holy communion because we had heard some stories about priests who unwittingly had the virus. Heard some stories. No facts, no foundation. Heard some stories. Oh, good, good. But you're basing everything on scientific facts and. Denying someone their right to worship in any way. Yeah, you are. Find a different way. Come on, Tucker, get them. God bless America. Yeah, we're not government's not allowed to tell people how to worship. Did you get that, Philip? And you're just a jerk. So these orders, which, again, I'm presuming and I believe were taken in good faith under trying circumstances, have nevertheless, and you just said it, have resulted in an awful lot of suffering. 577,000 New Jerseyans on unemployment. Doubtless the suicide rate will increase. The addiction rate will increase. Liquor stores are open, as we noted. Are you, how much does that weigh on you? Phil, you have no it's conscience. Stop your lying. Down. The guy from Massachusetts comes to New Jersey and ruins our Constitution. He's just following script. Little punk, think for yourself. Well, you are. You're evil.